Hello, hello, good morning. Good morning, everybody. This is Nisi Black here, your lifestyle and career catalyst. And I am coming to you from both. And guess how, ooh, guess how I'm doing that? I got my brand new Archon dual broadcaster this week. Yes. And I have my I have my iPad on this side and I have my iPhone on the other side and it allows you to stream both places live. So this is really neat. You are my test subjects today. So welcome. Let me adjust that. Welcome everybody to uh, Midweek Motivation and Mind Check. Today is Wednesday, June the 1st. Welcome June. Happy June to you guys and happy hump day to you. Uh, so I really like this. So if you guys are not following um, Archon Mounts, give a shout out. I'm going to give a shout out to Aaron Roth. He's the VP of Archon Mounts and um, follow them at Archon, A-R-K-O-N underscore Mounts, M-O-U-N-T-S and check out their wonderful products. They allow you to stream live. So I've got so many Archon products. The next thing I'm going to get is the one that you stick up on the wall and um, the one that you stick up on the wall so that I can just take it anywhere. But hey, welcome to Midweek Motivation and Mind Check. I am Nisi Black, your lifestyle and career catalyst. And I thought today we'd talk about perspective. Um, check in and see how you were doing with your goals that you set at the beginning of the week to see how you're doing with your mindset and um, how everything is going for you as far as getting some things accomplished this week. And uh, as a result of that, I wanted to talk a little bit about perspective and I'm going to make it kind of quick because I got tons of things to do today. But when you talk about um, perspective, you're talking about things, your view of what's happening, your opinion of what's happening. Uh, I don't have any clue who you are, but uh, have a good day anyway. So you think about how you see things, whether it's good or whether it's bad. It's your perspective and, and how you allow a situation, circumstance, person, place, or thing to affect your mindset towards that thing, right? So when you talk about in the middle of the week, you started your goals here, you started with um a plan that you wanted to accomplish or a task that you wanted to get done and then something happened in the middle of the day or the middle of the week that threw you off course. Maybe somebody came along and said something that upset you or frustrated you and now you're sitting here not knowing how to feel about it. So what today is about is thinking about ways that you can change your perspective about a situation, person, place, or thing. And I am not always positive poly. I have my moments and we all do. We're human. We get frustrated. We get stressed out. People push our buttons. But the, the key to is understanding what your buttons are so that you know when someone is pushing them and you know how you can react to keep it from sapping your joy, sapping your strength, sapping your energy and, and, and sapping that positive outlook that you should be having, right? So case in point, Case in point, some things happen in our life, in our everyday. And I am not one of those kind of people that are prone to drama. I just don't take drama well. I, I, I just can't. And, and I'll tell you why. I spent a lot of my younger years listening to a whole bunch of things. He said, she said, what you said, what you should be doing it, and a whole bunch of stuff. And my blood pressure was out the roof. Out the roof. Anxiety issues out the roof, not able to concentrate and not focus because I'm so caught up in all of this drama and emotion and, and it sapped my energy for so long. So when I got to the place in my life that I was not going to tolerate drama, I was not going to tolerate a whole bunch of unnecessary BS. I just can't do it. And I refuse to do it. And I refuse to allow it to come into my space. So when something happens that throws me off course, I have to be intentional I have to be intentional about saying, you know what? Let me analyze this for a minute. Is this productive for me? 
What is the motive behind this drama? Is it going to pay my bills? <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but is it worth my time and my energy? Is it worth my time and energy to go there with somebody? And if it's not, it's like, look, I don't even have time for this. So when you are facing your day and you're going through your week and you're looking at what's happening in your space, think about whether or not it's worth your time and your energy to involve yourself in that. And if it's not, change your perspective. Change the way you look at it. Move your energy from that negative, that first anxiety attack that you get, that first inkling in the pit of your stomach. Stop it right there and say, you know what? I want more out of my day. I want more out of my life. I want better for my situation. I want to maintain a positive attitude. Because if you change your perspective of things that are happening around you, you have a better chance of changing the outcome. You have a better chance of positively impacting those that you are connected with and those that are looking to you for maybe guidance or maybe inspiration. But if you are constantly in a state of theatrics or emotions or um, just drama, then you got to cut it off at the knee. Cut it off at the knee <laughs> before it can gain traction in your heart and in your spirit. And before you know it, the whole day is gone. So it's all about perspective and how you see things and how you view things. Not everybody is out to get you. Understand that first thing. Not everybody is designed to uh, be in your space. Not everybody is, is looking to stab you in the back. Change your perspective about that. Give people the benefit of the doubt, yes. But that first inkling of something is not right, you know what that feeling is. You feel it in your gut. Your gut is upset and frustrated for a reason. You know something's not right. Validate that because that's a true feeling and emotion. And we're human. We're going to have them. We're going to feel them. But pay attention to that. If something is not right, usually that's an indication of that feeling that you have on the inside. And don't give in to it. Chop it off at the knee. Put it to rest right then and there. Don't allow yourself to be dragged in into somebody else's state of confusion or somebody else's emotional uh, tirade or rant or venting session. Because that, that takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of focus. And it can sap the joy that you might not, you might have really worked hard through prayer and meditation and reading or whatever to get that joy you have. Don't allow somebody to accept that. Don't allow somebody to accept that from you. Look at your perspective and how you see things. Is it is is what you're dealing with beneficial to you? Is it going to further your goals? Is it going to help you get to the next level in your life, your career, your business, whatever that is? Is it going to benefit you in some type of way? If not. Kick it to the curb. Let those people kick rocks over on the, on the side of the street somewhere. But don't let your immediate space be impacted with negativity and frustration and chaos. Rise above that. Rise above that. Bring the type of people into your space that are really going to have your back and keep you positive and motivated. You know, misery loves company. Misery loves company. Happiness should love company, but I found that a lot of people are just stuck on being in chaos. They don't know how to do anything else. Chaos and frustration has become their normal, and that's a shame, but you can change that. If that is your state of mind, you can change that, but it's going to take work. It's going to take being intentional about changing your mindset, and it's going to take action. Understand who you are, what you will not tolerate, what you can tolerate. And be okay with being you. You don't have to live in a state of confusion. You don't have to live and dwell and be in a state of perpetual drama all the time. It's always something, no matter what it is. You can change that, but you got to want to. And you got to be intentional about making that shift. Okay? So, let's see. Ah!
1112. <laughs> For those of you that are just joining or just catching the replay, I am Nisi Black, your Lifestyle and Career Catalyst. Today is Wednesday, June the 1st, and I come to you every Wednesday, or I try to every Wednesday. I've got some things that are going to be going on in the near future that I might not be able to step in on a Wednesday, but that's okay. You are following me on Facebook. You're connecting with me on Periscope. So I'll continue to do that, and I'll keep you up to date on some of the awesome things that I'm excited about that's uh, coming here soon. One of, the, one of the most important things that is coming uh, to Oklahoma City is my partnership with Rhonda A. White. That is my partner in crime. We are hosting a black and white affair. It's a slumber party slash workshop. It's going to be on Friday and Saturday, June 17th and 18th, right here in Oklahoma City. And it is a ladies only event. <sighs> yes. You know, we are out to debunk that myth that women cannot collaborate and work together, that we are always trying to claw each other, trying to get to the top. That's a lie, and it's a facade, and we're not going to stand for it because we are some awesome, amazing women that are coming together to pour into the lives of other amazing women, and we are intentional about that thing. Our wonderful Miss Ebony Combs is our keynote speaker, and she is going to bring it to you. All the way from Texas, all the way from Texas. So we're excited about that. And we have a saxophonist in the house that's going to serenade us during the workshop now. The slumber party is a different thing. The slumber party, we will be uh, having our PJs. We're going to have our, our swimsuits. We're going to be sit out at the jacuzzi. We're going to have a little bit of champagne. We're going to have our grub on. And we're going to have some real girl talk. Talk about the issues that we face as women in this society. And we're going to share with each other because I'm 50-something. Uh, Ebony, she's a young whippersnapper. But let me tell you, it doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter what your status is. It doesn't matter what your color, your ethnicity is, what language you speak, where you come from, what you've been through. The only thing that matters is that you are a female and you have a mind to expand and grow your life. To do something positive with the life that you've been given. To make a shift and to be in an, a space and an environment where you are open to being poured into. We got to have downtime from time to time. We got to have girl time from time to time. And that's what a black and white affair is about. So if you are not familiar with a black and white affair, go to a black and white affair.com. Get your registration for the slumber party and or the workshop. But if you can't make the slumber party, we definitely want you at the workshop because we're going to be pouring into you all that day. And we have some wonderful um, gifts for you. Yes, we do. Some drawings. We're going to be giving away some stuff. So you don't want to miss out on that. And just come and let us love on you. Right. Get a, let, let the kids stay with the hubby or, or whoever and just spend some time loving and uh, embracing you. You are woman first. And foremost, you are not the title you wear. You are not the job you hold. You are not the car you drive. You are not your hair, which I need to go and get something done too. But you are not your hair. Come get poured into, girl. It's, it's time. It's past time and it's long overdue. So I look forward to seeing you there, a blackandwhiteaffair.com. And um, connect with me in our Facebook community, Align Your Life. Align Your Life, L-Y-F-E, inspirational community where we share and continue to build you up and support you, okay? So I'm out. You have a fabulous Wednesday. Enjoy your June. Think about what you want to get accomplished this month. Set your pen to paper. Write it out. Write your vision. Make it plain. And put your hands to the work, okay? All right. Love you guys. You be safe and have an amazing day in the rest of the week, and I'll check in with you a little bit later.